10 days have passed since Jennifer Dulos disappeared, and as police continue their search for the missing mother of five, they are calling the investigation active and dynamic. Channel 3's Aaron Connolly joins us now with a breakdown of what has transpired so far. Aaron. Well, Mark, this case is certainly gripping our state as well as the entire country. Local and state investigators are working around the clock to locate Jennifer, and we wanted to give you a timeline from day one to the present. Friday, May 24th, Jennifer Dulos, a mother of five, is last seen dropping off her children at school in New Canaan. Friends report her missing around 7 p.m. after she missed multiple appointments. Police locate her Chevy Suburban on Lapham Road near Waveney Park. Police search Dulos's New Canaan home and find blood as well as evidence of attempts to clean the crime scene. Tuesday, May 28th, an attorney for Fotis Dulos, Jennifer's estranged husband, files a letter in their divorce case indicating the couple's five children have been staying with Jennifer's mother in New York City and that the family has hired an armed guard. Fotis Dulos seeks a custody hearing. Wednesday, May 29th, police focus their search on Waveney Park. Friends and family release a statement saying they remain hopeful for her safe return. Divorce documents reveal Jennifer has said she was afraid of her husband. Thursday, May 30th, the search for Jennifer expands to Irwin Park in New Canaan and a Pound Ridge, New York home. A prayer vigil is held in New Canaan. Sources tell Eyewitness News police are treating the investigation as a homicide. Friday, May 31st, the search expands to multiple sites in Hartford. Saturday, June 1st, Farmington police obtain a search warrant for Fotis Dulos' home on Jefferson Crossing. Dulos and his girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, are arrested late that night, charged with tampering with or fabricating physical evidence and first-degree hindering prosecution. Sunday, June 2nd, prayer vigils are held in New Canaan and in Hartford as the investigation expands to other locations in Farmington. And finally today, Monday, June 3rd, Fotis Dulos and Michelle Traconis are arraigned in Norwalk Superior Court. Meanwhile, FBI agents are once again seen at Waveney Park. Obviously, a lot has happened in just a few days. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we continue our team coverage with two live reports. What happened in court today, details inside the arrest warrant, and the latest on the search. Aaron Connolly, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.